name's Poppy and today I'm going to be doing another full face one brand makeup video. So today's brand is going to be Sports Girl Beauty. Now I'm pretty sure I have everything mine's concealer so instead of their brand of concealer, if they have one, I'll have to check but um, I'm going to be using the Revolution Super Size Concealer in the shade C2. Um, but other than that, I'm pretty sure I've got everything so let's just get straight into the video. So my first product is going to be Time to Prime Hydrating Face Primer. So I already tried a fair bit of Sports Girls products, but I just went to Melbourne for the long weekend and decided to pick up the products I didn't have already. Um, Sports Girl is a fashion store here in Australia, but they also do their own beauty brand. So I guess it would be like the equivalent of, say, Primark Beauty. And their stuff is decently priced and also they had 20% off. So I think I've still got prices on these, but this is a 50ml bottle and it was $12.95 originally and then I got 20% off. So then my next product, which I'm not even sure if I got the right shade, they have like four shades and I think I picked like the second darkest one or something. I don't know. I'm like uh, thinking I picked the wrong one. But anyway, this is their Complexion Perfection CC Cream in the shade beige. So let's give it a whirl. Yeah, that's going to be way too dark for me. That's the shade. But... We're just going to go with it anyway. So as you can tell, this is way too dark for me. I definitely should have gone for nude. I just thought by looking at the packet that it was darker than this, but I don't think it was. And porcelain was way too pink so this is where we end up with a shade that's way too dark for me so I kind of look like I did back in high school and I'd used tinted moisturizer but I'm sure a bit of concealer and bronzer hopefully will even out my skin tone So Shell and I just got back from Melbourne today, so I thought I'd film a video for you guys. Obviously, oh well, I haven't had any more pre-filmed, so I thought I'd better get on with it. Now, apart from this being too dark, it actually feels really nice on the skin, and obviously it doesn't say foundation, but it is a CC cream, so... I'm going to go ahead and do my concealer, which obviously isn't a sports girl as I said, but I'll make it a little bit lighter on my face. Don't know why these dogs can't get comfy anywhere, but anyway. So my sister actually works at sports girl, I think I've said that in a, another video, which is probably my sports girl clothing haul video now this obviously isn't going to make my opinion biased i'm always kind of truthful with you guys as to how i rate the products but so far so good i've mostly tried their eyeshadow palettes in the past but so far their face products are good And I know you've probably seen this t-shirt in another video. This is my Pretty Little Thing t-shirt and I really like it. It's actually nice and kind of warm, but not too cozy, which is probably the weather's like perfect for this right now. We had a good time for Easter. We played a lot of Uno 
and it was my sister's birthday as well so she turned 20 so we went out for a meal at this nice Italian place in Epping Plaza I did do like the tiniest tiniest bit of shopping I I got actually only got one thing other than a bubble tea <laughs> I got a nice little pink cord jacket type thing so that was really cute I don't know why this one keeps going it's like odd that looks better all right probably because I'm just turning this way doing my makeup let me know in the comments what you guys did for Easter okay now next thing I'm going to use is again sports girl it's their sculpt and glow powder contour and illuminate palette so this goes for $24.95, but there's 20% off. So I think it was like $20 or something. So this is what it looks like on the inside. So you've got your golden warm contour, your tan contour, nude illuminator, nude highlight, beige highlight, and pearl illuminator. So I don't think I'm kind of either. So I'm going to just like dig into a bit of both and get that on my JH02 brush. I mean, I didn't pick my foundation right, so as if I'm gonna pick my uh, bronzer right, but anyway. So I've collected a fair few, as I said, eyeshadow palettes from Sports Girl, but I've also tried a fair few of their lipsticks and I've compared them to MAC, they're just a lot cheaper. So instead of being like $30 or something, I think they're about 20 and then I usually wait till they have a sale on and then get them for 10. So I'll be able to show you those in a minute. Feeling like I'm looking very orangey and like I might need to put some tan on. Oh, bit of hair. So I usually forget stuff when I go to Melbourne to visit my family. Last time I managed to forget my pair of vans, a denim jacket, and my handbag, but luckily my purse wasn't in there. And this time I managed to forget my hair straightener, so please forgive my messy hair. I won't be able to straighten it for a little while. I'll have to start blow drying it because I'm lazy and never do that. So anyway, okay, now we're going to get into eyeshadow. So this palette is pretty as a peach. It's peach scented, uh, um, what is it? peach scented eyeshadow palette. And this is the palette that Shell got for me on the day that we got engaged. So I when we got this I wasn't when she got this for me we weren't engaged yet but by the end of that day we were so pretty pretty cute and sentimental palette there now they've actually got a shade with my name on it we can't even read that but it says poppy so that's pretty cute okay now I haven't washed my brushes since we got back so we literally got back today from Melbourne so I'm just gonna go on with this JH34 brush and I'm going to go into this shade Pearl because obviously Ooh. No I'm not, no I'm not, no I'm not, no I'm not, no I'm not I haven't done my eyelid yet, that was smart of me Okay so instead of going with the P. Louise base I'm just going to go on with my concealer again Because not using too many products from different brands or anything I'm just going to use this concealer Wow yeah. I nearly forgot, that was dumb. And I didn't have a beauty blender with me when we went to Melbourne, so I was kind of just patting it down. 
of my face brush. Now on the way home, because obviously when in Melbourne, um, you always go to Krispy Kreme. We got some donuts, but on the way home. We haven't finished them yet, so don't worry. It'll probably take us a few more days to get through them. But I really enjoyed their brownie butter donut. There. All right, now I can start. Oh, I look like, oh, oh, my bronzer looks so orange. Anyway, we're gonna go in with that shade Pearl. The shade here from the palette. I'm gonna move this mirror in a bit. So I can see out of it. Maybe not. So yeah, Shell and I have been to Melbourne two weekends in a row now, so we're home to relax for a little bit. And now I'm going to go in, maybe with the shade Phoenix, same brush. It's a little bit of a lighter shade. Now I did intend on spacing these full face warm brown videos out a bit, but that didn't end up happening. So yeah, sorry about that. I think this brush is probably still dirty, but well, don't look too bad. So yeah, was intending on spacing them out, haven't done that. There will be a clothing haul coming soon though, so keep your eyes peeled for that. This is a pretty neutral look, so we're going to go in with the shade maybe Page. This pinky shade here. So yeah, I think the shadows still have a smell to them and it's also just kind of like the Too Faced Peaches palette really. I mean you've got your greeny shade there and everything, that's what I reckon it's supposed to be like. So I'm going to go in with this shade Phoebe here and then just pop that in there, just to deepen up my crease a little bit. And then in with this brush here and just blend it out a bit. So their shadows are really pigmented. Um, considering, as I said, it's a clothing store kind of makeup brand. Can't fault them on that. Now this palette was, well it's marked $29.95, so it is a little bit pricey. I can't remember if we've got it on sale or not, but I'd say it's worth it for how many shades you get. So we got 3, 6, 9, 12. Yeah, and a few shades in there for the price. I'd say it's worth it. I could probably do with a bit more blending actually on the edges there. Okay. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go back into my Sculpt and Glow. And I'm going to grab my JH04 brush. And I'm going to go into the Nude Illuminator because I'm going to use it as a blush. 
it's a little, maybe a little bit too light to be a blush, but that's okay. Because I don't have a blush from them, so I thought I'll use this because it's a pinky highlighter and I'll just be extra glowy. Now I'm going to go in with my JH06, which is my highlighter br brush, and I'm going to go in with, to the Pearl Illuminator. And like, look at that glow. That's insane. Insane amount of shimmer. I'm just glowing everywhere now, I'm getting obsessed with it, I'm just going to put it everywhere, but no. There we go. Okay, next up, I'm going to do my brows, and I'm going to use the Feather Brow Premium Fine Brow Pencil. Now, I can't remember how much this is, but I'll link everything in the description below. So I've had this a little while, and this one... I think it's like medium brown or something. But I feel like it works as well as the ABH one. And I used to have it. And it's like my most expensive one, obviously. And I don't even know where it is. I would say to the dogs to shut up, but they have been in the car for a while. Because they came with us. But now they're just being so noisy. I'm liking this look so far. Let me know what you think in the comments. And the good thing about this is on the other end it has a spoolie as well so you can kind of like brush through your brows and usually I'd go for a nice thick brow I'm using my pomade but today I've got a pencil so that's gonna be nice and light and fluffy kind of like a feather brow as the product kind of suggests Nice fluffy eyebrow. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the Get In Line Creamy Lip Pencil, and this is in the shade Wednesday. I'm pretty sure I saw it say it was called Wednesday on the box it came in. I have used it before. I used it this weekend because I forgot to pack, pack one. So I'm just going to go in. And they do have a new lip plumping mask in stock. It's, uh, I got the watermelon one. And it doesn't really, it doesn't really tingle that much. But when I put it on, I actually made my lips look bigger anyway. So I think they just look really glossy. But there are different, like, scents or flavours or whatever you, want, whatever you want to call it. So different ones. They work differently. Okay, so I've lined my lips. I'm now going to go in with maybe this one. Yeah, we're going to go with this lipstick in the shade Slay. It's 
So they don't really look like MAC ones, but I feel like they feel the same. Kind of similar to pout ones as well. I'm going for a kind of neutral, nudish kind of look. They do have plumping gloss as well in some stores, I think. Um, this one's $12.95. It's a plumping lip gloss. And I'm not going to use it now because I'm just going to do this other product on top, which is a, uh, a metallic lip cream. But um, I haven't opened this one, but I have got an orange one as well. So I made a fair bit of a collection. And I swear I have more hiding somewhere in my lip stick drawer but these are just a few that I found so they've got like similar shades to MAC and I really like them so we're going to go in with this lip metal cream um, it's in the shade Icon like a rose gold shade I don't know how much I think it was maybe about $10 because I've had this a while too so and they smell like lollies like candy like the Australis for Law lips if you've tried those, it smells like that. Okay. And the last product I've got to try by Sports Girl for today's full face wombo and makeup challenge is their Game Changer Volume Mascara, which I took the wrapping off of it. I think it was about $10 or something, but again, I'll put everything in the description. In case I'm wrong, which is probably highly likely. Oh, good job, puppy. Could just wait till it dries and then scratch it off, but that's right. I'm kind of glad I didn't go overboard on the chocolate for Easter. I feel like if you get, as you get older, you maybe eat less chocolate, unless that's just me. I don't know. I guess there's some people that eat the same amount all the time. But like, oh, I'm getting this everywhere. When I was a kid, I used to get like 10 Easter eggs. Maybe I was just a spoiled brat. <laughs> but seriously, I've got like 10 Easter eggs. And it'll take me ages to finish them. Sometimes I'm pretty sure I didn't even eat them all. But they would last a while. But this time I got like a couple. And one of them was an After 8 Mint Bunny. Now I'm originally from the UK if you didn't already know. And I love them. And yeah. So I hope you all got lots of Easter eggs. Um, or something else like if you can't eat chocolate for any reason like I hope you just had a nice chill time with family like we did excuse the noise in the background if you can hear it Charles watching a video and relaxing and it just got really loud And I have seen um, Sports Girl do their own brand of false lashes, but I haven't tried them. And I didn't pick any up, so I probably just won't put any falsies on for this look, even though I know they complete the look. This mascara is doing an alright job, even though I'm putting a lot on. I look so orange, but I mean, if I was nice and tanned, I don't think the colour's that bad. It probably is, but uh, what else can I say? Thank you everyone for subscribing as well. I feel like I should probably say that at the start of the video, not as a oh yeah. But 
Thank you to everyone who's subscribed. I really, Ooh, pardon me. I really do appreciate it. Like everyone who's subscribed, I never thought I would get this many. Like what I think by the time I upload this, I may have more or something, but at the moment I've got 317 subscribers and I love all of you guys. So thank you so much for subscribing. It does mean so much. And I just love doing YouTube. Like I'm not getting paid or anything yet. I haven't got that many subscribers or watch hours or anything. But no matter what, I just love making YouTube videos. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, for watching my previous videos. Um, so yeah, I just want to say thanks. <laughs> now, I think that's it for this look. I feel like I've taken some of the eyeshadow off by mucking up my mascara. But basically, this is the finished look. So for a clothing store makeup brand, they're really good. I like them. It's kind of like, I guess, the pretty little thing makeup. It's just not quite as cheap, but... I really like it and obviously um i would say my favorite product i really like the mascara but i really like this sculpt and glow kit that's probably my favorite product um and i would say my least favorite product is probably these but only because i bought the wrong shade so really it's not a like accurate representation although covering over with concealer and doing my bronzer and everything i feel like you can't tell that much because look how dark it is like it's actually not that bad like from the packet it looks as dark as my bronzer but actually i look kind of normal colored but yeah basically if you want to check out what products i use please check the description below um make sure you're following me on instagram as well so i'll leave that on the screen now <laughs> and twitter as well so make sure you follow me on there Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday and at the moment I'm figuring out times and things to upload but this one it will be what six six or seven o'clock or something and then on Sundays I'm gonna I'm not gonna do it at 1am anymore Australian time it's gonna be more likely be between well, either 1pm or 3pm. So I'm going to do it a bit later on so it's not like in the middle of the night for half of your viewers that are probably asleep when I upload. And also one more thing that's not really related to this but I'm watching Game of Thrones in the last season. If you've watched it, how good was the last episode? It was awesome. And now I can't wait for the next one. But yeah, basically I hope you like the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, yeah, I like it. I think it looks cute. I would be happy to go out for a meal like this and I would and I can't believe I forgot my hair straightener I'm pretty sad about that actually I'm actually devastated that I left it but on saying that on a day-to-day -day basis I don't really use it so I just have to rock have to rock the wavy hair and then when I straighten it, it'll be like super long hopefully by the time I get it back so yeah thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>